Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from nature. Now let's take a journey to the South Florida Everglades, where an unexpected invader has made itself at home. Imagine a creature that can grow up to 20 feet long, slithering through the marshes and swamps of the Everglades. These are not creatures of local origin, but rather they hail from the tropical lands of Southeast Asia. They are Burmese pythons, and they have been making the Everglades their home since the 1980s. These formidable reptiles didn't just appear out of the blue. No, they were introduced to the United States as exotic pets, a symbol of intrigue and fascination. But with their rapid growth and demanding care needs, many of these pythons were released into the wild, often by their well-meaning but overwhelmed owners. Little did these owners know that they were setting the stage for one of the most significant ecological invasions in recent history. In the wild, these pythons found a land rich in resources and devoid of natural predators. They thrived, establishing a reproducing population that has continued to grow and spread across the Everglades. With their impressive size and predatory skills, they soon rose to the top of the food chain, altering the balance of the ecosystem. The exact number of these stealthy invaders is unknown, but estimates suggest it could be in the tens or hundreds of thousands. Imagine that, hundreds of thousands of giant snakes silently slithering through the marshes and swamps, reshaping the Everglades as we know it. But the story doesn't end here. As we'll see in the next scenes, the invasion of the Burmese pythons has had far-reaching impacts on the Everglades and its inhabitants, both human and animal alike. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this captivating tale of nature, survival and unexpected consequences. As one could imagine, the introduction of such a large predator has had a profound impact on the local ecosystem. The Burmese pythons, a species foreign to the Everglades, have become the apex predator, throwing the food chain into disarray. The small and medium-sized mammal population, once flourishing in this region, has been decimated. The python's insatiable appetite and lack of natural predators have led to a rapid decline in the numbers of raccoons, rabbits, opossums and bobcats. It's not just about these individual species though. This dramatic shift upsets the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Let's put things into perspective. The Everglades is a complex web of life where every creature, from the smallest insect to the largest alligator, plays a crucial role. When one link in this chain is affected, the rest are too. For example, birds that feed on small mammals now struggle to find food, which can lead to lower reproduction rates and population decline. Similarly, plants that relied on these mammals for seed dispersal now find their seeds uneaten and their ability to reproduce compromised. Furthermore, the pythons themselves are contributing to the problem. As they grow larger, they start to prey on larger animals, including alligators. Yes, you heard it right. Pythons are now competing with alligators, the original apex predators of the Everglades. This new competition for food sources puts further pressure on the alligator population and by extension the entire ecosystem. And let's not forget about the pythons' remarkable reproduction rate with each female capable of laying up to 100 eggs at a time, their population can explode in a short period, perpetuating the cycle of destruction. The ripple effects of this invasion are felt throughout the entire ecosystem. The Burmese python's presence in the Everglades has created a domino effect that continues to topple the balance of life in this unique habitat. It's a stark reminder of how interconnected our natural world is and how a single invasive species can cause such profound disruption. Beyond the ecological impact, there is also a human toll to consider. When we speak of the Burmese pythons in the Everglades, we often focus on the damage to the ecosystem and the threat to wildlife. However, these formidable reptiles also pose a very real threat to our fellow humans. Every year, a number of unfortunate souls lose their lives to these invasive creatures. While it's difficult to pin down the exact number of fatalities, the annual death toll is not insignificant. Each one of these deaths is a chilling reminder of the risks these pythons pose to people living in or visiting the area. Imagine the fear and concern this causes among local residents. The Everglades, a place they've known and loved, now holds a hidden danger. And it's not just the locals who are at risk. 
the Everglades attract countless visitors each year, drawn by the unique beauty and biodiversity of the region. Each one of them is potentially at risk from these silent predators. But it's not just the physical threat that we need to consider. There's also the psychological impact. The constant fear of a potential python encounter can take a mental toll on residents and visitors alike. The presence of these serpents has changed the way people interact with the Everglades, casting a shadow over the once peaceful landscape. Despite the risks, people continue to live, work and play in the Everglades. They refuse to let the python invasion rob them of their homes and their heritage. But they do so with a heightened sense of vigilance, always aware that they share their home with these formidable creatures. While the exact number of fatalities varies from year to year, each death is a stark reminder of the risks posed by these invasive creatures. It's a chilling testament to the human toll of the python invasion, a toll that we must do everything in our power to minimize as we look to the future. Facing such a significant threat, the state of Florida has been fighting back. The battle against the Burmese python invasion is a complex one, involving the combined efforts of local residents, government authorities, and wildlife experts. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Florida has taken decisive action by removing barriers to hunting these pythons, enabling more people to participate in the fight to protect the Everglades. To further incentivize this effort, the state has set up programs designed to reward those who hunt and remove these invasive creatures from the wild. These initiatives not only offer financial compensation, but also foster a sense of community involvement, transforming the fight against the python invasion into a collective mission. In the heart of this battle, is the Python Elimination Program. This initiative hires people specifically for the task of hunting and removing pythons from the wild. These python hunters, armed with their knowledge of the Everglades and a determination to protect it, are on the front lines working tirelessly to reduce the python population. The Python Elimination Program has been instrumental in the fight back, leading to the removal of almost 4,000 pythons so far. Each captured python represents a small victory a step towards restoring the balance of the Everglades ecosystem. But the fight is far from over. Despite the removal of almost 4,000 pythons, it is believed to be a small fraction of the total population. The exact number of pythons currently residing in the Everglades remains unknown, but estimates suggest it could be in the tens or even hundreds of thousands. This underlines the magnitude of the challenge still ahead reminding us that every effort counts in this crucial battle to protect one of the world's most unique and diverse ecosystems. As the battle continues, the state is exploring more aggressive tactics to control the python population. It's a fight that requires innovation, adaptability, and relentless determination. Emerging at the forefront of this fight are two intriguing strategies, canine detection and genetic warfare. Canine detection, a method that might seem simple at first glance, holds considerable potential. Trained dogs with their exceptional sense of smell could be the secret weapon in locating these elusive reptiles. This isn't about turning our furry friends into python hunters, but rather utilizing their natural abilities to aid in detection and tracking. It's a testament to the old adage that sometimes our oldest allies can be our best. But the battle against the python invasion isn't just being fought in the swamps of the Everglades. It's also taking place in the high-tech labs of scientific research. This is where the concept of genetic warfare comes into play. Scientists are exploring ways to use the python's own DNA against them, potentially introducing genetic modifications that could control or even reduce the population. It's a cutting-edge approach, blending the fields of ecology, genetics and technology in a way never seen before in wildlife management. But as with all scientific endeavors, these methods require time, research, and rigorous testing. It's a journey filled with uncertainties and challenges, but also immense potential. The fight against the Burmese pythons of the Everglades is more than just a battle for control. It's a testament to our capacity for innovation when faced with adversity. While the path ahead is challenging, the determination to restore the Everglades to its natural balance remains stronger than ever. We're not just fighting for the survival of an ecosystem, but for the preservation of a world where nature thrives in all its diversity and splendor. And in that fight, every strategy explored, every python detected, and every bit of progress made brings us one step closer to victory.